What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? We have a fantastic day and I hope you're having a fantastic day because we've got some first look at the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is due to be out maybe sooner than thought. We're gonna th talk about that as well. So let's just dive right into all this information. Before we jump into the S23 Ultra, check this out. This is a display Samsung and Intel are working on putting out and it's a literally rollable, it looks like it'd be a laptop or, or, or tablet at some sort, but it's gonna be some kind of rollable display that comes out hopefully in the near future from Samsung and Intel. What do you guys think about that? Is that something you'd be interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. Now for the meat. You've had your appetizer, now let's eat some meat, or fake meat, whatever you eat as your, as your main course. Let's check this out. So here we go, this is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. There's a couple of key takeaways from this, but this is what it looks like thus far. And when you look at it really quickly, you might not notice a whole lot of difference because it does look quite similar to an S22 Ultra. But one of the things you might notice is that the S23 Ultra, as Ice Universe has pointed out, the chin bezel is very, very narrow, maybe even record narrow for a Samsung device, which might look it make it might make it look really, really cool. Also, a very unexpected discovery is that if the rendering is correct, it seems that the S23 Ultra is four bezels of equal width as well to come in comparison with something like iPhone has. But um, yeah, looking very, very sleek and sexy thus far. Um, but again, if I think if you looked at it real quick, you probably wouldn't notice much of a difference. Here's a quick look at the S22 and S23. You'll notice one of the big differences, the cameras on the back. I think it looks better now. It's a cleaner look uh, on the S23 for the cameras. But overall, both kind of look very similar on the front there but ultimately the cameras do look cleaner, I think, at least on the S23. Continuing with the S23 information, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is fast paced, so this is directly leading to an overall advance of the release time of the new Android flagship mobile phone. There will be models released in November, and Ice Universe even thinks the S23 will be released even earlier. So could we see an S23 that's released at the end of 2022 or even earlier in 2023 i guess we'll have to wait and see we kind of hear this every year and it always ends up happening to come out around the same time it always does so i kind of don't think it's going to come out any earlier than it has maybe if it does it'd be like two weeks which isn't going to be anything crazy but to add on to that he also said that one of the few differences the s23 3 series may enhance the audio system at the bottom a microphone hole has been added and the two microphone holes are symmetrically distributed on both sides of the type C. In addition, the SIM card slot is still at the bottom 100% confirmed. So S23 Ultra, again, when you, when you talk about the things that we just mentioned here, it's not a huge upgrade so far what we're looking at. I mean, oh wow, the microphones are a little bit better sounding. Great, they already sound pretty good on the S22 Ultra. Um, some smaller bezels. Eh, whatever. I mean, again, it's kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. This is stuff I wouldn't mind having, but it's not stuff that's good. That's for the regular person's gonna be like, oh, I need to upgrade to this better performance. S22 Ultra is already a really, really fast phone. Now, if the S23 Ultra brings, you know, better battery life, uh, better performance, better uh, heat distribution of, you know, keeping it a cooler phone. Okay, those are some nice things as well, but we'll have to wait and see until some actual phones get out in hand. But I don't know, what do we think so far? S23 Ultra versus the S22 Ultra. Do you think it's a big enough upgrade? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.